Do the different emulations of tubes in the PowerAmp SIM have any differences? Excellent question. For the first test, I downloaded a white noise wave file that covered the range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. I loaded the file on a looper and played the white noise through the SIM box using the same settings, except I changed the PowerAmp SIM settings. This is the white noise displayed in the spectrum analysis and audacity before playing it through the SIM box. This is the spectrum analysis of the recording of the white noise using the settings above that included the 6L6. This is the spectrum analysis of the recording of the white noise using the settings above that included the EL34. This is the spectrum analysis of the recording of the white noise using the settings above that included the KT88. For the second test, I recorded a simple chord progression into the looper. I then played the loop back and switched the power amp settings while the loop played. Is there a difference between the 6L6 the EL34 and the KT88? Yes. Is the difference huge or extreme between the power amp tube simulations? No, I think it's subtle. Thank you. 